On this video, I'm going to show you how I coat and straighten my sand cement render. Do it. So, first things first, you gotta get the render on the wall before you can straighten it. And previous to that, I have scraped down any high spots and I have wet down my wall so that it will control the suction. You don't want your render soaking into the wall. It's actually quite warm today too. Um, so I don't want it soaking into the wall. I want to be able to control the setting time of my render to give me a chance to not only coat it but to straighten it and then finish it. So like I said, first things first, get your preparation done and everything else will follow. So like I said, all scraped down and wet down. And now I get my mix ready. And you can see the way I'm just loading my hawk up. Um, I'm coating left to right here. I already have the top all on and straightened, but I'm coating from my left to right. And you can see the way I put it on, sort of press up, up, and then I'll come side to side and neaten it all up. And you can also fill in as you go there slightly. The neater you coat, the easier it is for your straightening and uh, it'll be much much easier um, and believe me th these bucket scoops are actually very handy for rendering um, I always love using the bucket scoop out of the tub for dicing and um, scratching and rendering um, the refiner scoop is actually pretty good for for things like this where you're not working off a board um, so Basically, I have my top straightened here, as you can see. You can see it's all open. The smooth bits around the edges where I just sort of rubbed as they were trying a wee bit more. Um, but you can see that it's all straightened off there, where it looks sort of rough and open. Um, you can. There's two different ways to straighten it. You can leave it open, and you can also sort of flatten it in, which will seal the moisture in and give you a bit more time. But I've got my wall well soaked down um, I'm well prepared so I can leave it open and let the air in, open it up, let the air dry out a bit more. And you can see the way I'm coating it with my hawk also underneath catching any bits that fall. And like I said there I was going up, up and then going across to neaten it up. You can see how neat it is at the top of my coating there compared to the bottom. Um, and what I do is, especially when I have the top straight in there, I tend to put a wee band along the whole edge just to sort of keep the joint in as quick as possible. And you can see how good this is, even at the bottom of the tub where it may be a bit stiffer. It's easily mixed up with them, that, that wee refined bucket scoop. Um, the hog I'm using is the pointsman and I'm using the ragni, the high lift ragni, Symmetra. Um, on my left here, I have a bead set as well um, did that for handiness as you can see it would be very hard to tack a rule on I do prefer to work with rules but you can see how tight I am to the fence there so a bead was it was a lot wiser to, to, to choose the bead up the corner so I'm taking two scoops two scoops is plenty so it is, you're getting a good lot on your hawk, you're not overloading your hawk too much where you're spilling it or going to cause yourself an injury. As, you know, when you're doing a big wall like this and maybe another wall, you want to sort of try and keep your your fatigue down so that you can keep going. Sometimes taking a lighter load will be much more beneficial. So my render here is 4 to 1. My scratch coat render was 3 to 1. So you can see that I've got weaker as I've came down. Um, and that's very, very important, guys. You want to always make sure your next coat's weaker than the previous. So the way I go is left to right. I take it from the top down. I keep on bringing it down. Um, and then... When I'm going to straighten this, I'll not straighten it until I get it all down. If you feel it pulling in, you might want to start straightening sections. But you also might want to decide to wet the wall further on down to give yourself a bit more time. 
Um, so I have the tab straightened. So basically, I will be straightening off that that top area and off my two corners. I'll be pulling up off the two corners also. And again, the straighter you have it, the easier it will rub and the better of a job of a finish you're going to get. Right, so now that I have had it all coated on, I'm just straightening away here. Um, I've always already sort of jumped ahead and got a good bit straightened up. So I want to show you is the um, slacks here. The smooth areas are actually the slacks at the minute. As, as I cut the render off, you can see it sort of looks more grainy, more gritty, more open. Sort of like a slight turret effect. So anywhere that's smooth is basically it's a miss. It's a low point. And that's the point you actually have to add more on to that. And the reason it's smooth is because it's where you worked it on with the hog and trial in the first place and it's smooth because the straight edge hasn't cut it because it's too low so you got you gotta fill out them low spots also when you're pulling your straight edge up you gotta have a look across it or up and down on it make sure it's hitting everywhere if it's hitting everywhere you know you're straight if it's rocking you know you've got a belly and you, you gotta cut that belly off and or fill out around it if you can't take it off um, in this corner here you can see that it's practically finished here as I rule that up and plumbed it and give it, give it a, a slight quick float up as well and that allows me to be able to straighten off that corner and my beaded corner as well as the top that's straight so I have almost three points that I can work off and you can see what I was sort of explaining there earlier, earlier was that the smooth parts are starting to get cut off now. You can see that quite clearly there. And that's that's the way you want to have the wall. That's how you, you know you've got it all on the one shape, one straight line. And again, I've got three points to work off here. I have my peak and my two corners that I've plumbed up and worked off. Um, so you can, can set up screeds and stuff as well but if you have beads this isn't a great great big wall I have two corners that go pretty much up and then I just have the peak so it's not too bad that way um, but yes so always always make sure you're looking across your straight edge as you're straightening and basically we're ready here for the next stage